Hello and welcome back to another video of the Brainy Heart. Today we'll be talking about the electric system of the heart. I'll start off by labeling parts and then we'll draw them in on the heart diagram and then I'll talk about the PQRST wave which is what you get on an ECG reading and we'll talk about two important terms that you might want to remember. Let's get started. Like I said, I'll start by labeling this image and then I'll draw this into the heart so that you can visualize how it looks inside the heart. Everything starts in the SA node. The SA stands for sinoatrial. The actual SA node does not have to be red. I've just drawn it in different colors just so you guys can differentiate between the different parts. Now back to labeling the parts. These black lines are called the internodal pathway. Inter is between and nodal is nodes. So the word means between nodes, pathways that are between nodes. And coming down, we have the AV node. The AV stands for atrioventricular. Again, remember, the AV node does not have to be blue inside your body. Coming down in yellow is the bundle of his. And you don't pronounce it as his, you pronounce it as his, which like a snake's sound, his. And the bundle of his separates into two bu different bundles. The right bundle and the left. And these green branches that are branching off from the left and right bundles are called the Purkinje fibers. The only thing that's left is a purple line. And it is called the Bachmann's bundle or Bachmann's bundle. Those are the main part organs of the electric system. Now let's put these, let's draw this in to the heart to see where these are actually located. Let's start off by drawing the sinoatrial node. The sinoatrial node is found in the right atrium. And the Bachmann's bundle branches off from the SA node and goes into the left atrium. And the internodal pathways carry the impulse from the SA node to the AV node. And let me draw the AV node first to make it easier. The AV node is present between the two arteries, so somewhere right here. But it is not present inside the uh, pulmonary artery, it's present, present behind it. It's called atrioventricular node because it is present near the atrioventricular valves, which are the tricuspid and mitral valve. And I've drawn the AV node black here because I can't drop blue over something blue. You won't be able to see it. And now let's draw the internodal pathways. From the AV node, the bundle of his branches out. And the right and left bundle branch out from the bundle of his. And finally, I have to draw in the Purkinje fibers, which are present on the uh, left and right bundles. Now that we have labeled the parts and know where they're present, let's talk more about them. Let's start off by talking about the SA node. The SA node is responsible for atrial, atrial depolarization. Now, you might be wondering what depolarization means. Depolarization is just a fancy word for contraction. Now, don't get repolarization confused with depolarization. Depolarization is relaxation. You can remember repolarization and relaxation by remembering the first two letters of both the words. They both start with the le letter RE. Now, back to talking about the SA node. Like I've saying, the SA node is responsible for atrial depolarization. You might be asking me, how does this happen? So the SA node releases a lot of impulses in all directions in the atria. For example, that way, that way, that way, that way. And there's so much pressure that the atria is forced to contract. 
Now, that's the right atria, at, atrium. What about the left? That's why we have the Backman's bundle, which takes the impulse from the SA node, which is in the right atrium, into the left atrium. And there, the same happens. You can think of the white arrow arrows as small roads and the Bachman's bundle as the highway, if that makes it easier for you. Now, back to talking about the SA node. The SA node beats at around 60 to 100 beats per minute. And that is a normal heart rate. Because of that, it, the SA node is also called the pacemaker. That was the SA node for you. Now, let's talk a little bit about this P wave. A P wave happens when your atrias depolarize. Okay, now onto the AV node. The AV node is not responsible for any depolarization. It actually creates a delay before it sends the impulse to the left and right bundles. This delay is very important. This delay makes sure that when the atrias cont contract, all of the blood goes into the ventricle, not even a up is left behind. The delay is for 0.1 seconds. This is a really small amount of time, but it's still a delay. The AV node beats at around 40 to 60 beats per minute. So if your SA node fails, your AV node will take over. And it also has the nickname Gatekeeper. Can you guess why it is called the Gatekeeper? Yes, you guessed it, because it creates a delay. That was the AV node for you. After this delay happens, the impulses are sent down the bundle of Hiss into the right and left bundle and into the Purkinje fibers. The Purkinje fibers are located on the ventricular muscle. It is responsible for the contraction or depolarization of the ventricle. And that causes this QRS wave. The Purkinje fibers beat at around 20 to 40 BPM. So if both your AV and SA nodes fail, the Purkinje fibers will take over. This will become a very serious situation because 20 to 40 beats per minute is really low. When the ventricles contract, the blood in the right ventricle shoots in to the pulmonary artery and is taken to the lungs. And the blood in the left ventricle shoots into the aorta and is taken to the rest of the body. That was all the main parts and their functions. All we have left is the T wave right here. The T wave happens when the heart repolarizes. And if you recall from our important terms part, repolarization is relaxation. So when your heart relaxes. And the PQRS T wave is found on an ECG, like I said in the starting. We'll talk more about the ECG in the future videos. That was it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and learned from it. I'm always open to comments, suggestions, and questions. Also, check out my blog at brainyhearts.wordpress.com. This is the Brainy Heart signing off. I'll catch you later in the next video.